Did you know that SpaceX has been making significant upgrades to Starship's launch pad in Boca Chica, Texas? This is all in preparation for a new and ambitious launch that aims to improve the launch infrastructure and potentially revolutionize the space industry. Let's take a closer look at these upgrades and what they mean for the future of space exploration. Let's rewind a little and take a brief look at SpaceX's groundbreaking first-ever Starship launch. The mission showcased the immense potential of the Starship vehicle, but it wasn't without its hiccups. As the colossal rocket lifted off, it became apparent that three of its 33 Raptor engines had failed to ignite. Despite these setbacks, SpaceX pressed on, and the test proceeded with the remaining 30 engines powering the Starship. The immense combined thrust of the Super Heavy booster, 6,900 tons, or 15 million pound force, left a hole in the Starship launch pad's orbital launch mount. Although the damage seemed significant, Musk reassured everyone during a Twitter space audio discussion that the pad damage was minimal and could be repaired quickly. It's essential to understand the circumstances leading to the damage to the launch pad during this launch. The absence of a flame diversion system or water to absorb heat and sound energy at the Starbase facility was a significant contributing factor. Normally, rocket launch sites have large concrete trenches that redirect energy away from the pad and the vehicle, and thousands of gallons of water are used to deluge the area. Surprisingly, SpaceX didn't use this type of infrastructure for the Starship launch, which is part of the launch setup for its Falcon rockets. One possible explanation, proposed by environmental impact analyst Eric Roach, is that obtaining approval from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to build such a system could take months or even years, which SpaceX may have been unwilling to invest. Furthermore, the construction of a flame diverter and flame trench is complicated due to the water table in the area, which plays a significant role in determining the depth to which these features can be dug. In the case of SpaceX's launch site, the water table is too close to the surface, making it difficult to excavate deep enough for a flame diverter and flame trench installation. SpaceX has already started the cleanup and repair process at the orbital launch site. To avoid future damages, the company is implementing a number of improvements and upgrades to the Starship launch pad. Firstly, they are enhancing the launch pad design by reinforcing the orbital launch mount. This structural improvement will make the launch pad more resistant to the immense force generated by the super-heavy rocket booster engines, enabling safer and more reliable launches in the future. Next, SpaceX is working on improving the reliability of the Raptor engines. As we mentioned earlier during the first Starship launch, three out of the 33 Raptor engines failed to fire. This engine malfunction played a significant role in causing the damage to the orbital launch mount, as the remaining 30 engines had to compensate for the loss of thrust. To ensure a safer and more reliable launch experience, SpaceX is focused on improving the Raptor engine's reliability. This is directly tied to the launch pad upgrades, as the enhanced performance of the Raptor engines will reduce the stress on the orbital launch mount, decreasing the risk of future damage. By addressing the engine failures and refining the Raptor engine technology, SpaceX can better protect their upgraded launch infrastructure and achieve a more successful launch process. The launch pad upgrades and Raptor engine improvements represent an interconnected ecosystem within SpaceX's rocket development. The company's focus on refining and enhancing multiple aspects of its technology ensures that each component can operate harmoniously, leading to increased reliability and efficiency in space travel. The launch pad's resilience will depend not only on its reinforced structure, but also on the reliability and performance of the Raptor engines. Similarly, the success of the Raptor engines is directly linked to the effectiveness of the launch pad in withstanding the forces generated during liftoff. This holistic approach to improvement is what sets SpaceX apart in the space industry and drives their ongoing success. In addition to design and engine improvements, SpaceX is aiming to significantly reduce the time it takes to prepare for subsequent launches. By upgrading the launch infrastructure, they are working towards increasing the number of launches per year and making space exploration more efficient and cost-effective. Lastly, SpaceX is committed to creating reusable rockets that can lower the cost of space travel. The upgraded launch pad will support this goal by enabling quicker recovery and refurbishment of the Super Heavy booster and Starship upper stage. 
This focus on reusability will further revolutionize the space industry and make space travel more accessible to all. The upgrades to Starship's launch pad will undoubtedly have a significant impact on future SpaceX missions. With a reinforced launch pad, improved Raptor engines, faster turnaround times and increased reusability, we can expect a more efficient and reliable launch process. Moreover, these improvements are crucial for realizing SpaceX's long-term goal of creating a sustainable human presence on Mars. Musk recently provided a tentative timeline for the repairs to the OLM and the launch site, giving us an idea of when we can expect the next Starship launch. He stated, From a rocket standpoint and pad standpoint, we are probably ready to launch in six to eight weeks. He further explained that the main cause of the delay for the next Starship flight is the requalification of the flight termination system, FTS. In a related development during the 2024 proposed NASA budget hearing last week, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson also mentioned that SpaceX had informed him it would take at least two months to prepare for the next Starship launch. He said, It blew a hole in that launch pad, so I have an ask so I could report to you as of today that SpaceX is still saying that they think it will take about at least two months to rebuild the launch pad, and concurrently about two months to have their second vehicle ready to launch. As we've seen, the upgrades to Starship's launch pad in Boca Chica, Texas, are integral to SpaceX's future ambitions. By reinforcing the launch infrastructure and enhancing the Raptor engines, the company is paving the way for more efficient, reliable, and ambitious space exploration missions. We can only imagine the exciting milestones SpaceX will achieve as they continue to push the boundaries of what's possible in space travel. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into SpaceX's recent launch pad upgrades. Stay tuned for more episodes as we continue to explore the fascinating world of space exploration and the groundbreaking advancements shaping our future among the stars.